from the planet earth it's time to do a little fukushima update some of you know i've been kind of slacking on it but i just know there's quite a few others that are uh doing it and I, i'm spread thin but it i need to yell about it okay i'm going to try to be nice uh anyway first let's take you back to about i don't know is it 24 hours or so after fukushima and the blatant lie that obama told you which is equal to genocide folks uh, just on that one statement, that one, he's a lying bastard, and it's going to lead to the death of uh, generations. And so for that, that's genocide, crimes against humanity. Uh, the intentional withholding of information that leads to death is a criminal offense, and, and worse than that on the scale that we're talking about. But le let's, let's play this, shall we? We do not expect harmful levels of radiation to reach the West Coast, Hawaii, Alaska, or U.S. territories in the Pacific. That is the judgment of our Nuclear Regulatory Commission and many other experts. Furthermore, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and public health experts do not recommend that people in the United States take precautionary measures beyond staying informed. And going forward, we will continue to keep the American people fully updated because I believe that you must know what I know as president. Blatant lie. Many blatant lies all strung together. Going to keep you updated? Has he made one public statement since then? Not to my knowledge. Correct me if I'm wrong. Give me the link. I'd like to hear that lie as well. Um, public official bullshit. Anybody that's scientific. I, I was a dumb carpenter in California at the time and I got my kids the hell out of there. Okay? Any drop of common sense says that when nuclear reactors blow sky high multiple times into, into the environment and you're downwind of it, it's coming. There's, there's no, you don't need a background. Okay, so that's a blatant lie and it'll kill people. It is killing people. Um, he said he'd keep you informed. Hadn't done that. Uh, told you to keep yourself informed. And that's what brings us to today. This, uh article that somebody gave me from the one and only Fox News that ends up spinning you out and at the bottom we're going to start at the bottom and we'll go back and skip over a few things and then I'm going to give you some real information okay all right then uh, if you went down a list of things hold on here let's work a list of things people really should worry about you would never even get to a concern about radiation leakage from Fukushima so in partnership with Obama, Fox News, intentionally lying to you, also equal guilty, uh, equally guilty of genocide. Slow, horrific genocide for generations and generations and generations. And this, there's some verbiage that will downplay everything in here if you want to go read it. All the links I'll show you will be below. Um, they do tell you it's continuing to leak radioactive water and it's expected to now see this is the thing here start right off with convincing you that everything is fine because the water is expected to hit in 2014 oh that is that's a whole other year you don't have to worry about anything right instantly asleep instantly asleep even if there was any information in here that should horrify you it, you wouldn't everything is fine I had another year Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Let's start out with this post from this year. We'll bounce around a little bit. I got a bunch of stuff. All the links, again, will be below. 28 signs the West Coast is being absolutely fried with nuclear radiation from Fukushima. Wait a minute. Let's, let's go back again. What? We do not expect harmful levels of radiation to reach the West Coast, Hawaii, Alaska, or U.S. territories in the Pacific. Okay. Uh, well, he said harmful, and this word fried isn't exactly the same as harmful, so 
Maybe you can still be asleep and not be too worried yet. We haven't gotten into most of this, so I'm sure you're just everything is fine. Polar bears, seals, and walruses, uh, fur loss, and open sores. You don't care about that. Uh, sea lion deaths. Oh, that sucks. Jeez, that's too bad, huh? Uh, let's see here. Along the Pacific coast of Canada and Alaska, population of sockeye salmon is at a historic low. That's okay. They got those GMO salmon now. That That's fine. Uh, something ca is causing fishing along the west coast of Canada to bleed from their gills, bellies, and eyeballs. Wow! It's like a science fiction movie. You're still sleeping through all this. Look at all these. And this is all the animals and the fish. And so, yeah, it doesn't really... No, doesn't really bother you. Doesn't. No, no, look at this. 28 things right here. I, I'm not going to read them off all to you because I have before, I think. Long before this post was out. And, th and you know, not to discredit activist posts. They're awesome. They're... they're we got to keep hammering this stuff out. With 28 reasons. Valid reasons. Go research the links. Call these guys bluffs. They know what they're doing. They're not reporting bullshit. Absolutely not. This is good stuff right here. All right, so there's 27, 28, right? <laughs> so 28 uh, reasons right there to, to show that Obama lied to you. Let's see, what's this one? Oh, this is the nice map, yeah. And look at, note the days... Okay, when it hits the West Coast, we'll let this play through here for you. This is the projections, but again, remember that they've used, you know, some statistics that might not have been as high as they could have been. But So, okay, boom, it, it does line up. That's the water, right? Yeah, well, keep in mind that they already found seaweed that was, you know, here. So, I'm going to make sure you get all these links. Let me save that for you. Okay, government model shows west coast of North America to get highest levels of Fukushima contamination until 2030s. So for you sheep that were asleep and think you have another year, all right, keep in mind that for a minimum of 16 years, even at their underrated statistics, you're going to be hammered. <laughs> hammered increasingly more every year. Until you die. Okay? Simulation carried it up to 2041. Okay, so there you go. Uh, and you're probably still... I don't know. Uh, I'm wondering when, when you're going to get enough information. Um, okay, now look at this. When was this posted? This was this year, too. Radiation reaches USA from Japan nuke disaster. Uh, dangerous levels of radiation from the nuclear plant accident in Fukushima, Japan, are reaching parts of North, Central, and South America and are spreading inland by weather systems carrying radiation contamination rain from the Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean seafood is now testing positive for radiation and an additional 400 tons of radioactive water is still pouring into the Pacific from the crippled nuclear plant every day with no end in sight. Oh, maybe, maybe we, you're starting to wake up. I I know you care for your kids and stuff, so don't worry. They're on the list, too. We'll get to that in a minute. Okay, here's another one. This was uh, way back in 2011. Okay. Hot, very high concentrations of hot particles in Pacific Northwest during April, May includes plutonium, and americium, uh, whatever. Okay, and some of you may remember Arnie Gunderson had the filters from Seattle. Five hot particles a day in near Tokyo. They were breathing ten hot particles a day. So the deception of it's in the water and it's not quite here yet doesn't fucking mean anything. It's been in the air since day three, people. The first wave of radioactive xenon gas passed over the west coast about 72 hours after Fukushima blew up, which is about 48 hours after Obama said... That is the judgment of our Nuclear Regulatory Commission and many other experts. Furthermore, right. the Centers for Disease Nothing Control to worry and Prevention... About. Nothing to worry about, right? Yeah. Well, that xenon gas, for any of you that say, well, xenon is used for its laughing gas, whatever. It's harmless. It's way up there in the atmosphere, and it passed over. The trouble is, is when it gets struck by lightning, it turns into, I believe it's 10 other 
radioactive particulates that do fall to the ground. And many of them have a very short half-life. But I, I'm wondering, do you need 10 different radioactive particulates falling down on you and still think that you're fine? That's 72 hours afterwards. And then you saw the information you got already. Okay, let's put that in there. You can. I'll give you all the links. You want to read it for yourself. I, uh, you should. Okay. Remember I was mentioning your kids. Right. Children born after 2011 meltdown of Japan's Fukushima nuclear power plant are at high risk of acquiring congenital hyperthyroidism if they were in the line of fire for radioactive isotopes. They were in the line of fire. I just showed you that. Right? Yeah. Remember Fox News, if you go read that post in there, it's the, the levels are so low. They're so, so low. One in three kids. Okay? Already on the West Coast. And that includes Canada. Okay? Hawaii, Hawaii is just getting hammered. Alaska probably too. And, and no, I don't expect anybody to t take it away. I'm, that's not what I'm... But you weren't informed. You were lied to and you weren't informed. And now it's killing your children already. We can see the signs in your kids. They're not going to be able to see it in you because you've already done your shit and you're already half dead. But your children are dying now from Fukushima. Okay? Now let's look at this here, will you? Government responds to nuclear accident by trying to raise acceptable radiation levels and pretending that radiation is good for us. They did. They, they raised the safe level of ra uh, almost all radioactive particulates, in some cases up to 35,000 times. And look at this. EPA officials, however, refuse to answer questions or make staff members available to explain the exact location and number of monitors or levels of radiation, if any, being recorded at existing monitors in California, uh, etc., etc. They removed. They pulled eight of their 18 radiation monitors in California, Oregon, and Washington shortly after Fukushima. And look. And now the EPA is considering drastically raising the amount of allowable radiation in food, water, and the environment. What was the date on this? March 30th. That's right. Before 30 days was up, your government raised the safe limits. Basically lied to you and said that everything is fine. Folks, as simple as we are. I'm a carpenter. I'm covered with drywall mud right now. First thing I did would get through the door, was give the kids their new boots, pay the rent, uh, grab my coffee, and make this video because somebody sent me the Fox News post. Matter of fact, uh, fellow YouTuber. And uh, I, I fucking had enough, and I'm wondering when are you going to have enough? Those blatant lies are killing your children right now. And if you sit there and do nothing, you're just as guilty. The blood is on your hands, too. And like I said, I don't expect anybody to take it out of the environment, although if they allowed you to grow certain plants, namely hemp, we could have thrown it all in the bay and absorbed probably 60% of the radiation that leaked out of there. Did you know that? No. They didn't inform you of that either. Your children are being killed. You weren't updated. You weren't informed. You weren't told that you need to keep them out of heavy rains. You, you weren't told that when they play in the snow, you need to wash all their stuff with boron. You, you weren't told to change their diets and give them heavy metal detoxes. You, you weren't made of it. None of it. Oh, wait a minute. No. There's about 300,000 of you or so that were feared into buying fucking potassium iodide, you fools that listen to Alex Jones. He didn't take any of it, though, did he? No. No. And I know. Some of you are going to get mad because I use the F word. 
And you, you know what I say to that? You're damn lucky it didn't start right from the get-go. I've had enough. When are you going to have enough? One guy going to the White House and saying, Motherfucker, I'm putting these bracelets on you. You're going to jail. It isn't enough. But if you're going to sit there and partake in these elections and put another fake ballot in a box for another figurehead to go lie to you and watch your children be slaughtered, fuck you! I hope you don't like my language. You're not going to fucking like me any better. Everybody else, I'm sorry. I have been trying to refrain. But this, this is ignorance. Why, why should I, I go and, and reach all you people to know that you're slaughtering your fucking kids? Those lies from Obama are equal to genocide. And there's much more information than this. If you did any looking around. And I know you don't have time. Because the system sucked you dry of everything else. And the few minutes you do get, the most convenient thing to do is click on that box in front of you. And Fox News will tell you that everything is fine. Smash that fucking TV. And march on Washington. That's, that's the, the two best things you could do right now. We have to. In the meantime, you know, and you guys, I told you from the get-go, I, I can't, I don't keep up with this every day. I know how bad it is. Uh, I've talked about it, and there's, there's many other people that have more of a background that are more consistent with the Fukushima issue. Um, my website's in front of you. This is the activism page, which needs more work when I have time. Again, I'm still covered in drywall dust, so time is very limited, but I'll be adding other forms of activism to this page um, and it may branch off once I get going to individual pages for each topic heading but in the meantime come over here and go down through these new nu uh, anti-nuclear activists um, and big shout out to uh, climate viewer uh, just finally got them up thanks Jim uh, for all your hard work Christina Consolo Kevin Blanche um, Miss Milky the Clown is going to be added on here. I don't know if I got her on here yet. I haven't. There's, there's others. There's a lot of others that are going to be added. But there's sources here. It, you can go subscribe to. Get a, you got to know about this stuff and you got to protect your kids. Okay? you you got to protect your kids. Um, another thing you can do, you know, Bent Knight Clay. Uh, that kind of stuff. The natural stuff. I, I get mine from Amazon. So um, if you want to support my efforts and you do shop at Amazon, just go to uh, the Am oh, wait a minute. I don't even know where the link to my store is anymore. I'm so pissed off about this. Uh, <laughs> you know, we do have an Amazon store, um, and I believe it's on the support page. See, it's not my focus. I don't even know where the hell the store is now, and I, and I did the site myself. So, uh, uh, oh, anyway, it's somewhere on the site. Check out the whole thing. It's all stuff you need to know, right? Okay, then. <laughs> anyway, much love, many thanks. Get up to date, folks. This, this is killing your kids. This is killing your kids. You can't allow this. This video should be getting emailed to everybody that you know with a firm warning. If you don't reciprocate and email this to everybody you know, I'm going to wring your neck. You're guilty of killing my kids. Much love, many thanks. Happy Friday. I'll see you soon.